Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet, and welcome to the Daily Masters game. This is actually taken from uh, DreamHack Valencia. I believe it was um, one of the rounds. I can't remember round of 32, round of 16, but it was not. Um, it was not in the main series that I already cast. It was one of the earlier games, and it is going to be a PvP. So down the bottom right side of the map, we do have our red Protoss player. He is going to be Huck. And yes, up the top left side of the map, we do have a blue Protoss player, and it is going to be White Ra. So yes, an awesome PvP going on. And yeah, I mean, is is going to be pretty awesome. We I don't know if we've cast a PvP for a while now, but uh, yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to cast one. And I I know some people probably watching this, and they're going to be thinking, all right, well. Uh, you know what, I actually watched your videos for the round of 16 and I know that Huck made it in, but White Ray wasn't there, so of course Huck is going to win this video. And you may think that, and you, you uh, first of all, thank you for watching my videos. Um, and you may think that, but of course, the uh, round of six, the round of whatever it was, um, the round of 32 it would have been, where I think these players met off. You know, there was a best of three series, so for all you know, White Run may win this and then Huck may win the next two games, and Huck still goes on, so there's no guarantee that uh, that Huck definitely won this game. There's no guarantee that he won it at all. And I suppose you can you can second guess me by um, looking on the um, on a sheet which actually tells you what happened, but then of course you, you, you know what the answer is, and I, I don't know, man. I mean, you're watching the game right now. It's right there, and yeah, just just watch the game. If you already know what happens, um, please don't post in the comments to uh, to let everybody else know because I'm sure there are some people who have no idea. Myself, actually, being one of them, because uh, yeah, this was actually a best of three, I think, and there were like three games and. This was one of the middle ones, so I have no idea what actually happens in this game, whether it's going to be Huck or whether it's going to be White Rye winning. So we just have to go through and we'll just have to check it out for ourselves. Interestingly enough, both players getting a very fast gas going down. I'm guessing it's going to be a bit of sentry play, or maybe they're both going for some sort of crazy Stargate tech. It does look like Mothership Core coming out from one player. That is from White Ra. I assume that Huck is going to be getting his own Mothership Core in uh, just a little while. It seems to be fairly standard. It doesn't matter who you're up against. You always get the Mothership Core. Now, I mean, it's just... Yeah, like I said, it seems to be getting a lot more standard in games for players to just get the Mothership Core. It's great for scouting. It's great for picking off random drones. And it's even great against uh, some offensive units like this Zealot running in. If he had a Mothership Core... Oh, he's just going to miss out, and that Stalker could have done so much to actually uh, to actually kite that Zealot around. I don't know if the Sentry is going to be all that good at doing the same thing. Sorry, the, yeah, but um, this Stalker is going to be a little bit tied up now, and White Ray is going to get the first hit off at him, so Huck has no choice but to run, because in a straight-off value battle between those two Stalkers, he is going to lose now, having suffered the first hit. Although if his shields completely regen, it doesn't look like it though. He looks like his shields are still low. He's going to have to run in, get into the reinforcements, and the Mothership Core trying to help out, but the Zealot deciding to go for the workers, and one worker going down, but the rest are going to be fine, and with the help of the sentries, you should be able to knock this Stalker off very, very fast. Nice field, force field going down, preventing the Stalker from getting away, and now he just has to worry about this Mothership Core. And with the help of this sentry, he should be fine, although he's got to keep his units attacking at the same time. This other Mothership Core just helpless, absolutely helpless, to uh, cannot attack this. But the Stalker's coming down, and yeah, the Mothership Core trying to make something happen. We'll see, we'll see what happens, because uh, actually Waira has a, quite a bit of a advantage here in terms of army, because Huck went for this very early expansion. Not stupidly early, but quite early for a uh, Protoss versus Protoss mirror matchup. And yeah, Huck is going to be a bit behind on the unit simply because White Ra went for this early base. But overcharging the next side should should allow it to shoot off quite a bit. And here we go, we've actually got a gateway coming down. 
That's not good. That's a Stargate. Excuse me. That is a Stargate coming out at the front. And yeah, I wonder what he's going to be getting out of that. Wonder if he'll have a chance to get anything out of that because uh, yeah, Huck is definitely getting at the Immortals. He's got one. He's getting a second. And two Immortals are going to be quite scary in terms of getting rid of this force. And I don't know that the Stargate is going to be in time to really push this off. I don't think it's going to be. Uh, we just have to see. The second Immortal is coming out though. And I'm pretty sure that once the second Immortal comes out, Huck will be able to push this off. I mean, he's getting a Void right now. And he's actually got a few more forces. He's got a fair amount of Zealots in there. So the Immortals aren't going to be super effective anymore but I feel like he's still got just enough forces to hold off the zealots while the immortals just wreck the stalkers all over the place um, so yeah right now he's just uh, being a bit defensive he should probably be a bit more aggressive but maybe he doesn't know that the void ray is coming in here we go pushing in here a couple of great force fields he needs to get his army down here start picking off the flank of white Ra. but his forces are getting split up quite a bit and the void ray is out there doing damage all of the anti air goes down except for this sentry. And wow, this is just doing so well here. The uh, Void Ray eventually goes down. This sentry just down on its last breath. And yeah, with the Void Ray coming down, these guys just not quite enough to go in there. It's got a lot of stalkers, but there are a lot of mortals out. One of the immortals going down, but the sentries, I mean, sorry, the stalkers are just getting whittled down. Here's a reinforcing immortal out there. And if Huck is very, very quick, he can uh, he can actually stop this Void Ray from coming out. But there is another pylon behind it, and he's going to have to push out with a bit more. He does not want those Zealots hitting the Immortals, but he's got to get this thing down. Sooner or later, the Void Rays are just such a pain in the ass, and with that overcharge, they just shred through Stalkers like you would not believe. So here we go, getting a bunch more Stalkers. You can see that, lost his shield so fast. He's getting four Stalkers on there. And that is going to be enough to face it away. Meanwhile, the Immortal going down. The Stalkers couldn't attack the Zealots because they were too busy with the Void Ray. So that Zealot got in nice and deep and really, really hit that Immortal hard as, long as, as well as the Stalkers in the back. And so far, I mean, Wairo doing a great job of containing Huck. But you've got to remember that Huck has had his expansion out for such a long time. He hasn't really been able to make much of it because he's constantly been uh, reinforcing, trying to save himself from these Void Rays, from these uh, very, very fast attacks, and he's doing a good job, but he can just completely sprint out whenever he wants, but look at this man, the Oracle coming in, looking to even it up quite a bit, and this guy is going to get a ton of worker kills, absolute ton, warping in a few Stalkers, but we see five, six, seven workers going down, I think there was about seven workers from that side, really, really nice. However, Huck has got a very, very decent amount here, and it looks like, uh, look at this going around, 8, 9, 10, 11, those Stalkers all in the wrong position to be defending this, and with 12 workers taken out, the, uh, the advantage that Huck had with the second base is firmly down the toilet now. You can, um, you know, actually, look at this, White Ra actually pulling back, he's going to let this Stargate go down, he feels like he doesn't really need it anymore. I'm not so sure he should have let that go, but I suppose Huck has a very, very decent amount of forces. He's actually got a very decent amount of forces. All those stalkers that he uh, that he was building up. Going to be doing a really, really great job moving in now. And White Ra is... I think White Ra's in a little bit of trouble. He's definitely behind on the army right now. And a lot of that is Zealots, which the stalkers are just going to cream all over the place. So there we go. The army is dwindling quite rapidly. And White Ra, I'm not really sure what he can do, but he is going to leave the game. And yeah, there we go. Congratulations on Huck on holding off that, uh, that beautiful attack with the Stargate. Really, really showing that Void Ray's very early game in a PvP can really be freaking awesome, man. Especially against Stalkers. Um, back in Wings of Liberty, Stalkers were uh, a hard counter towards Void Rays. Now it seems like Void Rays are a hard counter towards Stalkers. In certain situations, man. Very, very early game. If you manage to get a Void Ray out, they really, really do shred Stalkers. And, yeah, they could, they could take out, like, two or three of them. 
um, before they're taken out themselves. Maybe, maybe not two or three, but at least two, I feel like. It depends how many you're attacking them, though. If you've got like six, seven stalkers against one Void Ray, you're still going down. But if you've got one Void Ray against three stalkers, that's probably a lot more fair. I would, I would not bet on the stalkers to win that battle, especially if the Void Ray has overcharge. I would say the Void Ray does have a very decent chance of beating three stalkers straight up. So anyway, there we go. Huck victorious in that battle. And yeah, it's just, uh, just a build-up of forces. He had, a, I think, a bit more economy for a bit longer. And uh, I guess, yeah, a mass amount of Stalkers versus uh, a very decent number of Sentries and Zealots, which are good. But in the end, up against mass Stalkers, they don't really do that much. And of course, the Immortals are definitely helping. And uh, yeah, so great job there by Huck. This has been your Daily Masters game. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Harry Muppet. I hope you enjoyed this game. Please subscribe if you want to see more of these Daily Masters. Um, they'll be up anyway, but uh, yes, you will get them in your uh, in your inbox if you subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, then you won't get them in your, in your inbox. So, all right, this has been Harry Muppet. I'll catch you guys later.